Hey guys, we're back with another... There is no alpha. That's what I call it. What I, I want you guys to understand is, you know, if you put a group of dogs together, one, if, you, if you're taking inventories of behavior, yeah, that's the place to do it. Because people that are unsure about a dog's behavior, you need to question them. How is it at the dog park? How does it do if a strange dog? You're gonna tell a lot about how, you know, emphatically they answer these questions. You can tell a lot about them in a group just by how they are. Again, this dog is a big time bully. Look at him. Did you see that? Watch him. He's gonna go find somebody else to bully. Go right straight out for that one. Now Reggie's gonna bully him. We're fixing to have Bully Fest 2016. But that's what I want you guys to understand. If, if you said to me, either one of those dogs is an alpha, I'd say that's laughable. They're both bullies. And I think people mistake aggression for status. And it, it isn't that way. It isn't that way. It, it can come down to that. But that's not what it is. You know, if you said I hold no status over Fred, I'd say, oh, that's laughable. You're, you know, if you're hard pressed to find people at a dog park, any place really that can stand amongst a group of dogs and do nothing. They want to interact. You've got to be Captain Kirk. Unless, I mean, this is why I'm getting this dis disinhibited behavior. When I see videos where people walk around in groups of dogs with a stick, I don't know why that bothers me. If I am gonna make a move to get one of them to come to me, I'm only gonna do it when it's the most advantageous. Fred! And that was advantageous for me because it stopped Fred from, it may not have been that advantageous for him, but I'm gonna tell you what it told me that next time I'm using the nick. And you need to make notes about that. You know, and I'm, every time I hit that button, I, I'm gonna just tell you guys this, and this is how you need to be too. I'm, I'm already at the next. I'm already deciding what I'm gonna do next time. Which, which button, who, what, when, where, and how I'm gonna hit it. That's what I'm already deciding. And I don't acknowledge again. Dogs do not play the affable card on me unless I want them to. If you want them to do it, yeah, you do want them to do it. But if you let every dog that waggles over by you, if you, if you pet every dog that does that, you're, you're allowing them to wrap you around their finger. All right, so look, Barney. So what I did was basically, I, I waited until he was on the run and I called him out. Reggie's jumping up. I'm good. Hit him with the next next time he does it. Alright, and Max is over there somewhere. I don't know if we can let me see if I can get him. Max! Good boy! Yay! Yay! Good boy! Good boy! Good, good. Max knows how to catch. Because I can tell you what's not a good plan. Put meat in your fingers and <laughs> But, all right, but I, I know you see what's gonna happen here. I'm, I'm gonna get on here. I'm yeah, you know, I'm gonna get it. But that's who this dog is. This dog is giving you every clue of who he is and who he is gonna be to you if you try to come at him with any directions. He's got the my methodology for training dogs like this, and we're talking salvage operations. Um, all right, look out, look out. We can have a problem. We can have a problem. Barney! Yay. I got a little crowd forming. Um, knock it off. Did you see that? Well, I'm gonna tell you, he's, he's gotten sick of his bullying. So I better mm -hmm. be ready. Look, look Fred over there. I, I, I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I need to do is take the wind out of this one's sails. 
that's going to change the whole dynamic. It's pretty obvious, isn't it, Summer? Fred! Yay! I guess we got to go.